Hey baby. It's uh, Thursday, Father's Day, August 19th, 2021. Uh, it's 9.33 in the evening. I've been working hard this week. I've been working probably 12 and 13 hour days. I usually start about 8.30 a.m. and um, Several times I think this week I've come to you and it's been 9.30 or even later and I've been still at my office just working so working hard for you uh, you can work too hard in this world believe it or not a little bit I don't know that that's a universal um, truth but it is one that requires a little bit of caution um, everything needs to have a balance you know uh, my f my grandfather, my mother's father, your great grandfather, used to say, um, "Do nothing in excess. Don't eat in excess. Don't work in excess. Don't sleep or relax or play in excess." Um, at the same time, your father, me, uh, I tell you often, and uh, my my philosophy in life is to do everything as much as you possibly can. Don't do anything in parts or pieces. Do everything completely and then go further, right? Live life. Travel. Learn everything. Learn the alphabet backwards. Uh, work hard. Work hard for your family. Play hard. Um, seek beauty. But you can't work too hard. You absolutely can work too hard. And uh, a lot of times what happens is, is it doesn't really damage you. I mean, you'll have people say, well, it creates stress and it creates wear and tear on your body and you know you don't have balance and I suppose if you don't maintain a balance that can happen um, I work hard but I sleep well and I eat well and I try to get out and get exercise and get moving and so those things are in my mind in balance and everybody's balance will be different you know some people will require more sleep and some people will require less sleep and that's important um, so I work really hard and I bring that up a little bit. Uh, the question for you at some point may come up as to why uh, your mother and I are not together. And uh, I believe it was part of that. It was part of the fact that I, uh, I worked so hard uh, when she and I were together and when we were dating and when we were in love. Um, I was still working pretty hard. This was long before you came along and you were born, but. Uh, I was working a lot of hours. I was working 10 and 12 and 13 and 14 hours and I was helping to run a school. Um, and so that was damaging to me. I don't know that I saw the, um, the damage that that was doing or the warning signs that uh, were there uh, with your mother and how unhappy she was. At least I believe she was unhappy. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we're not together. I think that she felt uh, I wasn't available or I wasn't around as much as I could have been or should have been and I felt uh, constricted or restricted restricted um, by her needing me around more than I felt I could be uh, I felt I needed to work and now of course we have you and <laughs> everybody's got to work very hard you know when you have children and so it's but it's a labor of love um, and so one of the reasons is at least I'll take the responsibility there that uh, your mother and I are not together early on anyway why we broke up or why we split up was because I was spending a lot more time at work than I was uh, with her and, and being and taking care of her and so um, our love languages are very different I don't know I mean I can't speak for her I don't know if she ever really felt uh, that I loved her uh, but I did, and I do, um, and I, I was showing it in every possible way that I thought I could or I thought I should. Uh, I was showing it in acts of service. I was showing it in uh, acts of sacrifice and sacrificing very important time that I felt, you know, could be spent other places, and I sacrificed it for her. Um, I spent a lot of time and emotion and heart thinking about and caring about and worrying about and taking care of her and thinking about what she needs or wants uh, out of this world. My, one of my biggest wishes for her, and as you probably know, um, her parents died when she was, you know, pretty young in her teenage years. Um, and then she, you know, raised your older brother, and now she's raising you. Uh, one of my biggest wishes for her was to have whatever it was in this life that she uh, 
she wanted to have for herself and I don't know that and again I can't speak for her I don't know that she uh, uh, identifies that or even goes and then walks in that direction um, and that's very difficult for me I, I have a very difficult time understanding that and even supporting that that, that um, yeah, we're, we're one person on this earth and we have whatever time uh, we're given in this life and it's very important that we live our lives in the direction and the ways uh, that, that bring us joy and make us happy and uh, think about ourselves frequently first um, take care of ourselves first and I don't know that your mother this is perhaps my criticism of her um, and it's certainly maybe just my opinion but I don't know that your mother um, practices that very well or easily uh, taking care of herself and thinking of herself first and that's difficult for me and I think she resented the fact that I could and can do that um, and sad, had some difficulty there as well and so we did we, we, we broke up um, our love languages are very different um, I felt loved by your mother at least in the ways that your mother can love um, when we were together I felt I felt that I certainly felt the comfort that she tried to give me and the comfort that she naturally gives us the world and she's very good at that uh, but I don't I don't know that she ever felt the love for me and I guess um, some of this is my uh, confession or profession here and now to say that I do and I, I do love your mother and I do, did love your mother and I did do, love her deeply um, but the other part of it is is to make you aware uh, that I f that I feel that and felt that, and uh, to tell you a little bit about the history, or at least my perspective of the history of your mother and I, and so it just didn't work out. Our languages are so different, and our rhythms are are so different. Um, and again, it started with with my work ethic, uh, my my workaholicism, I guess some would say, um, and just not being around enough for her. And I think taking care of her in the ways that she needs to be taken care of and then you add to that um, I think she saw that as very selfish and self-focused and, um, and just didn't didn't feel the love that I was trying to give her and so um, seasons come and seasons go in this world and the cycle and the circle of life and the universe spins around so as we sit here today on Father's Day August 19th 2021 we don't know your mother and I could very much, uh, I don't even want to say reconcile, but heck, we could fall back in love. We could, uh, we could perish. We could go our separate ways if we haven't already. Um, so it's hard to tell what the future will bring. I am an open, open-minded, open-hearted, open book, and I am willing to accept the world uh, whatever direction it sends me if that is the direction that's meant to be. And, you know, we talked a little bit about before how I try to you know you try to control your fate every day by doing the things and working for the things towards the direction that you want the world to go doesn't mean it always will but um, so it's hard to say what the future will bring but I, I know your mother loves you and uh, I love you so that's all that matters but I thought it would be uh, important to address that at some point we may talk more about that going forward but I try to keep these uh, these daily uh, daily daddy talks you know, short enough so that you can watch them real quickly and keep moving. Um, August 19th, Father's Day. August 19th, 2021, we keep moving. We keep moving to the next Father's Day, which is tomorrow. And I will talk to you then.